everyone, it's Amy from Now Polish Baby 90 and welcome to today's video. Today I'm here with everything I wore in July, which was not a lot, other than the tremendous amount of swatching that I've been doing. Um, I did Etsy Summer Reviews, I did my swatch through for 90 this month, um, as well as uh, many other videos. So yeah, this goes a little bit lighter this month. I'm still asked, I'm sure I will still talk forever. Already getting tongue tied, this is a good sign. So we do have three main streams, so I've been picking up a ton of Sally Hansen ones recently with the Insta Dries with Collaboration collections. So the first one was Peeps White from the Peeps collection and it's just a straight white cream. There was Peeps, I've got a few of the rest of them to swatch, like blue, white, yellow, uh, but they're just nice cream opaque formulas. There's maybe one drop of something else in here. It's maybe making me think of slightly like uh, OPI My Boyfriend Scales Walls, where it was the smidgiest bit off-white. Um, but yeah, it was good. It was a nice two coat of white, which is not that common. So really nice. Two coats of Peeps White by Sally Hansen. In the ones with the Sour Patch Kids, there was R.I.P. Purple, which is just a really nice grape cream. None of these have got super fancy jazzy formulas they're all just very nice and easy to be get opaque they're nice and cream i do have a few glitter toppers that i will show you when i get around to swatching them but for now another nice easy cream formula two coats to get opaque that was r.i.p purple i wore one opi because i was starting to get all of my barbie pinks out ready to pick a barbie nail polish to wear when i go to the cinema we're actually going to see oppenheimer today so i've gone for black nails today with the black grungy aesthetic and when I go see Barbie you best bet I'm gonna have pink nails and I'm gonna have pink on my body it's just a thing this one didn't make the cut for when I actually go see the movie you'll see that next month but this is LA positively hot it's a really older OPI but it's the perfect Barbie pink for me where it is pink with a blue undertone a blueness to it which I really really enjoy this is a great Barbie pink if you want a Barbie pink I don't know how easy this is to get um, I've had it for a long time, it's an older OPI as well, but two coats of LA Positively Hot by OPI. And we will do UK Indies next, so I do have three. So the first two are from the Villains UK Indie Box theme that came out a few months ago. So Tell Moi was here with Arabian Nights, which is the Jafar polish, and it's a nice burnt coppery red undertone and it's teeny weeny teeny tiny little um, glitter shards it's not textured to dry they do dry down really nice and flat but yeah it's mainly the gold and like the coppery red in a brownish base so it really hits the mark for Jafar nice and opaque in two coats that was Arabian Nights by Tell Moi and yes all indies will be linked down below in that same box, there was one from Nail Artisan Cosmetics, and this is Friends on the Other Side, which is the, I can never remember the name, is it Dr. Facilitire? I butcher this every single time. The bad guy from Princess and the Frog, um, and this is a dark purple base with light purple glitters. I only have one other nail artisan, which is a thermal, so this is my first time trying just the regular line from the brand. Uh, yeah, really liked it. I really liked how the flakies popped in. Sometimes when you have a darker base, it's harder to make uh, glitters stand out through them, but you definitely got a nice light purple through the dark. And another nice two coat up. So that was uh, Friends on the Other Side by Nail Artisan Cosmetics. And from the beautifully polished box, I have Danglefoot Nail Polishes um, Spill the Tea. This was on their very first box, and the second one has now arrived, and so I'll be swatching my way through that too. It's an off-white creamy base, and then there is a ton of like Aurora unicorn type shift where it goes like green orange red to me it showed more red on my nails i really love that clashing mixture of red with like the cream it's unusual it shouldn't work but it really does this did take three coats to get completely opaque but what you're seeing is three coats of spill the tea from danglefoot nail polish let's travel to australia because i do have two australian brands this month so the first one is a uh, glam polish and this is Dougal my demi guys i've had this in my stash to swatch for a really long time it's from the fantastic beast and where to find them collection uh, a demi guys is a type of um creature in the fantastic beast series this was slightly uh it needed some love it was a little bit dried up when i got it i was not the first owner so i've had to replenish and restore it it is very very glitter heavy it does get completely opaque by itself and as well as being very silver and holographic you might be able to see it there there's a red orangey undertone to it as well which i really like that kind of mixture of it being just something slightly different uh, so three coats is going to get this opaque so it was Dougal my demi guys by glam polish one from femme fatale and this is handful of seashells which was a hella handmade creations exclusive 
I don't know how I feel about this and this got so many comments on my Instagram when I posted it saying how unusual it was and how much everybody loved it. So it's a very, very sheer base and I think that's the problem. I think I would love it if the base was more blue. In the bottle it looks like a blue base with matte white glitters and then there is green to orange um, flakes as well. But on the nail the sheer blue base was just very sheer. So Look at the photo and see what you think for yourself. It took three coats to what you're seeing. The shimmer was very strong. There was a load of glitter and flakes in there. So when you moved your hands and you were moving, it looked completely opaque and you couldn't see nail line. But it was, I don't know, a little bit ugly. I'm not sure how I feel. It was ugly pretty. It was a definition of ugly pretty. So three coats of handful of seashells from Femme Fatale. One retired brand, and this is one from Hair Polish. This month's hair polish is sex. We normally have one hair polish a month. So this is Ghostwood National Forest, a deep, deep murky green with lots of kind of gunmetal and also like an antique bronze gold type base. It was really unusual. And I do love polishes where you get that kind of gold and silver mixed together because it's a little bit more unusual of brassed antique glitters in the green base were just beautiful i really loved the mixture a lot it was a three coater however which is some of the hair polishes that i've been wearing recently have always been three coaters a lot of them are and i'm not sure it's because of the age of the polish where i've had what well, they've been around these polishes are probably 10 years old now or whether just they were just on the always more sheer three coats are still fine which are some of these i would have loved to have been a bit more of a thicker formula and a bit more opaque um, but i'm being really picky here i don't even know why i'm just throwing that in there i would have loved them to be more opaque but this is three coats of ghostwood national forest and the final one is i think i said in june's favorites that i was trying to wear through all the polishes from pbe from last year before i start seeing the influx of everything from this year i think i might have one left still but so this is the penultimate one but this is deep dish which was the fair maiden door buster from last year um, i love this i wore this for five days which is a really long time for me um and it's I think the base is almost clear. Yeah, it's a clear base, and then there is just so many um, like bronze and then multi-chrome flakies. It's meant to look like a like a deep dish like pizza, and it exactly looks like that. I was obsessed. It applied beautifully. Sometimes polishes that are very chunky are hard to apply, but this was beautiful and perfection, and I loved it. I loved it. And if you don't know, Fair Maiden is actually splitting. The two owners are going their separate ways. So it's Bow Rebs Polish and Monarch Polish, I think is what they're going to become. So these are one of our last Fair Maidens that we'll probably be seeing up on my channel. But that was beautiful. I loved it. Favourite of the month. Deep Dish, Three Coats, Fair Maiden. We have one rewear and that is the end of the video. So this is Exhilaration from Trio Polish. I needed some neon in my life. I can't remember why or when. But at some point in my life, I needed neon in July. And this is the one that I went for. Um, mainly because it's not just a neon cream. There is tons of little neon yellow to lime complementary flakes. I don't feel like Trio exists anymore. Let me know in the comments. I can't remember. There was a couple that I just got on the hype too late. MFL Lacquer might be the one that I'm getting confused with. But anyway loved it two coats of exhilaration trio lacquer so that is everything that i wore this month like i say leave me all your comments of what you'd be wearing in july down below this is actually quite a dark now polish month considering i thought i would be showing you all kind of summer neons and summer colors a little bit more dark but it has been extremely wet and windy and rainy in the uk so maybe that's why give me a thumbs up subscribe and i will see you soon bye